Hello. Welcome in. Just getting myself situated a little bit. Probably not going to do a long stream today. I'm going to see how I'm feeling. I've been feeling kind of off the, this whole weekend, you know? Um, but, well, I don't know. We'll see. I really wanted to get back to the game because I went and checked my VOD for where we left off. Um, and I, I realized the path that I took. So I want to go back and, like, find that path that we died on and try that again. Let's get the game loaded in. I've also got new commands in the chat. We've got exclamation point points. And you can gamble points all day long. Uh, I always love when that's in other people's chats. So um, I was excited to add that to mine. And um, what else? We got a new question of the day, which is just exclamation point Q. And we'll see. I'm So I'm, I, I'm going to change either my channel points or these gambling points to be feathers. Uh, have that be the the name of them and I haven't decided which yet I kind of like the idea of feathers being the channel points because then I can add like custom little emojis for them and things whereas the points are just points maybe those will be something else I don't know maybe those will be like seeds to feed all your burbs we've got Harvey here just chilling hanging out being a cute, cute cat. He's like, please don't touch me. Very. Yeah, he's not in a snuggly mood. He's been kind of weird today. Just, uh, just lots of running around and, and yelling and not being content. This is actually the first time he sat down all day. So, better not to disturb him. But yeah, don't really have any plans for the stream in terms of like what I want to accomplish in game other than just going down that tunnel that we um, lost before because I didn't have the laser cutter. Oof. Now that, that was, uh, that was a whole thing. Might be cool to spruce up the house a little bit here. Oh yeah, right. I did leave us right in the middle of danger. All right. So the place that we are trying to get to Ooh. Oh yeah, we got the cold suit and that's pretty sweet. I want to find the... map. We have a map. Is it, a, it wasn't in personal log. Logs and communications, maybe? Maps, maps, there it is. All right, here's where we're looking for. So we want the teleporter, which I think is that. Hmm. I'll probably stumble across it before anything else. I, I don't think that's it. I wish we had a bit more of a flashlight on this thing. And now we just have to try not to get skewered or eaten. We'll see how that goes. Uh, this looks like where we're trying to go. Allie! Oh my gosh, three months already. Holy cow. 
Thank you so much for the reset. So did Orc's game not end? I thought it was going to end, and then it just didn't. <laughs> Alright, yeah, here we go. We're in the right place now. Has Subnautica. Oh, it did. Okay, cool. Yeah, because I was like, I couldn't tell if there was going to be another, like, four hours after, uh, after that, like, false ending to the game. Or if it was going to be, like, ten minutes. And I guess it was ten minutes. Um... How Subnautica? Subnautica is really good. It's very, very good. Let's eat that. I actually just wanted to clear up a little inventory space, but I guess I can just, like, drop some of this stuff if I need to. Maybe, maybe in anticipation of going somewhere cool, I should put some stuff in the prawn suit before we commit to it. But how are you doing today, Allie? I am, like, just hanging in there. I'm, like, hoping that streaming will just kind of distract me from all of the apartment bullshit that I'm constantly dealing with. You're good? Nice. Glad to hear it. Could you sit down, please? That's fine. Uh, I mean, I guess I don't need to take those with me. Drop a couple of those. I guess we'll drop those. We'll drop that. Keep the rest. Yeah, that's that. That was kind of my thinking for sure. Is like if I jump into, um, into a game now on stream, I can't like I can't overthink the other stuff that I've got going on. You know, otherwise it's very easy for me to just uh, fixate on it, and I don't want that. So this is where we went last time and died. So we'll give it another another try. Ugh, my nose is running a little bit. But yeah, last night I just like ordered Chinese, so I had Chinese for lunch and that was nice. There's something, like, really wonderfully comforting about, uh, r like, shitty Chinese food. Alright, so we came down here, and then we went this way. Ha ha! We did it! We did it! We found it! Hey, Dave! Welcome. Alright. We are gonna equip... The laser cutter, now. Laser cutter's on three. I guess it was already on four. Whatever. We have the laser cutter equipped. We are not gonna fuck this up this time. I can do this. It's gonna be good. How goes it? It's going alright. Going alright. Now you want Chinese food? It's, uh... It's not something I get very often because it always gives me a stomachache. But every now and again, it's just worth it. Those, like, huge Chinese dumplings are just to die for. It's your go-to comfort food? Hell yeah. When I was in college, I lived right across the street from a pretty shitty... Chinese takeout place that was also expensive, but it was in the middle of college town and like right across the street from me. So it was like, you know, I, I, I went there all the time <laughs> and I felt bad about it every time. I'm like, this is too expensive to, uh, this is too expensive to, to get as my like drunk food of choice, but it was also just always the easiest because it was open the latest of any other place. It, it was like the only place around that was open until four. It's like basically a 24 hour place. And you really don't get that in Boston. Um, what? Excuse me, where the fuck am I? Was this just another way out? I don't know how 
I feel about that. I thought that that this was going to take us somewhere new. That's okay. Uh, how do I toggle the map off? There we go. Just a little anticlimactic, but yeah, whatever. Where even was it? Was it here? Yeah. I'm not sure if there's anything left for me to get in this area, in this snowy biome. There might not be. Maybe there's not a point in me going back. Huh. I'll take a quick look around, see if there's anything else. Oh, here's all the stuff that I lost when I died. I might as well at least get back to the prawn suit. Maybe I'll move it to the entrance. Take the batteries out, charge them. Maybe I'll just take the prawn suit home. I have no plans today. RV buddy. This poor cat, he has just been so absolutely restless today. Um, so I think if I let him out and close the door, I'm just gonna uh, leave him out for a little while. But, something more exciting. I've got uh, channel points. Well, not channel points. I've got, like, the gambling points in the chat now. Um, I've Actually, I've had them turned on for a while, but I didn't have, like, the other things they could do with them turned on. So, you're, so um, I don't think anyone was, like, actually accumulating them. But now... It's there. Um, and that's just exclamation point points. But eventually I'm going to change it. I'm do I don't know if I'm going to change the gambling points to feathers or the channel points to feathers, but it's going to be one of them. I kind of want to get my prawn suit in here too and go through this portal again. I think I'm going to try to do that. Let's do that. Please fit. Yeah, all right. That actually worked a lot better than I thought it would. Here we go. And while this is loading, I'll let the kitty cat out. The poor guy's having a rough day. Just everything is... Everything's scary and terrible. I'm gonna turn my headphones down a little bit. Okay. It's a little better. Oh, maybe I can't get the prawn suit out from here. Pretty sure I've scanned this stuff already. Man, I wish I could get this open. Frosted sinew tree. This looks like an area I haven't been to. We got a beacon. Ugh! Oh, ah! So we need to make one of those penguins that can fit in there. 
some water. I think this is a geyser. Yeah, perfect. Maybe we'll do that next. We'll go make a... Um, we'll make a, uh, a... A penguin robot. And then come back and check out some of those caverns. Oh, no worries, Allie. That happens to me all the time. It's actually shocking to me that um, I can make it through a stream without my internet becoming an issue. Um... Because that has happened once or twice when, I, when I've been streaming, but not, not too often. Um, the door opening looks bigger from this side. And now it's... Yeah, it definitely... Alright, so maybe it's just the shading, but it looks so much larger on this side than this side. This side, it looks super narrow. The other day after my Skyrim stream, uh, liter your internet literally died 10 minutes later. Oh god. Well, at least it was after. But yeah, that's super frustrating. Um, I think the only thing that you missed is that I mentioned that... What was that? Oh, poster. Like posters? Uh, I mentioned that I have the gambling on for channel points now. The exclamation point points. And I just turned them on, so they might need to accumulate a little. <laughs> womp womp. <laughs> yeah, I, when I checked it, I had zero also. It's was like, ah. Uh... I wish I could take that. Just put it on my wall in my house. Alright. <laughs> Quick, Alley, gamble all. <laughs> I wonder if I have to do something to get them to start accumulating. Cause you, I don't know. Get, check it again in like five minutes. And, uh... <laughs> Maple heist. And if it's if it's still not loading them in, I'll I'll double check stream elements to make sure that it is uh, accumulating. gonna start working our way back. Yeah, it's something like you get a point a minute. Oh! Oh god, this thing's freaked me out. Oh, we're gonna go there next. Oh, jeez. Okay. We're going... Which way? This way? We're going this way! Still zero points. Allie, you have them on your stream, right? Did you have to do anything funny to turn them on? Pretty soon this entire Subnautica stream is just gonna be me wandering aimlessly.
You had to turn them on, but you don't think people started using them until later, so they had accumulated points by then? Yeah, okay. I'll check it myself in, like, an hour, because I have had my stream on the longest, I guess. You can set points. I just turned on the commands. Maybe I have to do more. Interesting. All right. To the bridge. It got so dark already. Ah, God, leave me alone. Oh, it's just eating a bear. Perfect. To the bridge. I can't see shit. What the fuck? This area is brutal. This was... This feels like a big loop. Yeah, during the day it's not so bad, but... When it's snowing and everything. just gets, like, everything's kind of, like, connected in a huge loop, so if you, uh... There we go. Alright. We did it. We found the water. Oh, I have so much more, so much more jump capability now. I think I just jumped on one of the penguins. Got out of there pretty easy, honestly. Yeah, like I heard it, like I heard it land. I was like, huh. <laughs> and I gained some air time. I was like, mm. thanks, Mr. Penguin. Appreciate it. He got stopped, poor lad. Almost there. All right, we gotta move the sea truck so that the, the oh, we got a phone call. We the necessary components to begin constructing my body. Great, what's next? Let's get you out of my head. First, you must find the fabrication facility. It is concealed at some depths. Fabrication facility? So you planned on needing to make new bodies? It is a standard medical facility. A medical facility where you just replace your whole body when it wears out? Well, the whole Sounds captain. a little beyond standard to me. Ours was a research mission of the highest importance. So, what were you, a scientist like me? I am a scientist now. So, what happened? Your team found the vaccine and then... Please, Robin, you have the components. Find the facility and construct the body. Okay, Stop asking questions. don't think I don't notice you changing the topic. 
Yeah, I guess we don't have very much arguing power. Like, uh, there's a there's a robot in our head. Or an alien. I'll toss that in there, that's fine. Um, we're gonna wanna swap out some batteries here. I was wondering how we were gonna make the, make those things also, those components. Harvey is already yelling to be let back in the room just so everyone knows. Poor guy. I really don't need to carry this many batteries either. I'm gonna drop a couple off. I will take this though because I'm gonna keep an eye before we leave on this and swap those out. Supply. Dave, how are you doing today? I don't I don't know if I asked. Maybe I will just drop that for now. Probably don't need that either. And then at this point, I think I'm just gonna start using these. You're a good busy week coming up. Cause it's your last week! Oh, you must be so excited. Okay. Uh, let's just go. I can't think of anything else that I need, and I don't feel like daddling. I just wanna wanna go check out some of these locations. He said we had to find the fabrication module, but I don't know if he actually listed it. So we got all these architect artifacts. We haven't been to this one yet. Find the facility and construct the body. Points. Oh, Alright. I'm gonna check this really quick. Check under loyalty. On stream elements, right? Not on, not on Twitch. Loyalty has to be enabled. Loyalty settings. Loyalty enabled. All right. Oh wow! I can I can change so much. How many points should viewers get for watching? Amount. Hmm. Should I leave it all? Uh, the same? Ignore users, Ray Elise. Mm -mm. No, I want points. I want to be able to give points to you guys. Oh yeah, there's a subscriber multiplier. You can change everything. Save! Heck yeah. Alright, I'm going to refresh my dashboard. Okay. We're going to give it just a minute. Hey! Wait, no, nope, it still says zero. Fuck! Alright. You can give points without having points. I can? Okay. 
give points. I have to put a number. That makes sense. I have zero points. Fuck. Rage. Oh, give points instead of add. I gotcha. I gotcha. Okay. All right. But please. You know what? I'm getting so tripped up by doing this on my dashboard instead of on Streamlabs. Okay. Add points. Is it working? Is add points not enabled? <laughs> We're going to sort this out. I don't care if it takes a minute. Uh, da, 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 da. We've got give points on. We've got... Roulette is on. Points are on. Oh, maybe it's under moderator. There it is. Add points. It's just all over the place. Set points of a viewer. Okay. Excellent, excellent. All right. Yeah, it's just weird because it's all in different spots. Hell yeah. All right, we got it. We got it. Uh... <laughs> God damn it, Allie. <laughs> Lendor is raiding with a party of six. Thank you so much. Welcome in. We are just setting up channel points right now, and I think we just figured it out. Figured it out. Um, how are you doing? How is your stream? You're playing Subnautica Below Zero. Hell yeah. That's awesome. How are you enjoying it? It was really fun. Have you finished it? I don't know how far I am. I feel like I'm getting pretty far. I'm, um, let's get back to the game. I've been messing with channel points too much, but they're on now. So if you do exclamation point points, you're going to start accumulating things that you can gamble for nothing. It'll be, it'll be fun. Ah, uh, okay. Keep finding stuff on accident. Can't find diamonds. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. Um, if you've, if you haven't found diamonds yet, I'm a little further than you are. Just so you know, for spoilers. Yeah, Dave, you're number one. <laughs> Those bonus points. Am I sure? <laughs> uh, I mean, you know what? In this game, who, who knows? But thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate it. Okay. All right. So we... Why did I come out here? All right, let's. We have to. We have to go to this. Thank you so much for the follow, Lendor. Ooh, all right. So we gotta get to this alien facility, and then we have to find the fabrication thing. But we'll figure it out. We're gonna figure it out. He went big and had to go home. <laughs> so I don't know how the... Um, this is definitely not how we're going to be getting in here. We're, let's go over to the pilot's last known position so we can get to the entrance to the big area. Um, I know that the it's random, right, for the chance of winning the roulette. But... 
generally what I do when I'm in other people's streams is if I see a big losing streak for a little while, I'll, like, jump in right after because the just, like, statistically it's more likely to win after a bunch of losses than when a bunch of people are also winning. And it's worked out okay for me. But it, I think it has to be roulette. But yeah, now you're the losing streak. There you go. Just securing that first place spot. Let's find one of these entrances. This looks like one. And we'll just follow this around for a bit. And then hopefully, ah, we'll circle back to where that artifact is. This area uh, is constantly difficult to navigate. It doesn't really matter where you go. <laughs> the sea truck is thick. It feels nice having this like crazy cruise depth though. are down south. We're pretty far, though. I'm pretty sure that these are all connected. But I don't have very much evidence of that. And I could very well be wrong. Oh, this might be... I remember we found a different artifact down here. So this one might be its own, its own thing. You're trying to set out, uh, set up sound bites on your stream. Awesome. I like haven't gone down that route at all yet. There are a lot of minerals down here that'll be very helpful. So maybe while we're here, we'll just farm some stuff we'll need later. Also eating a shark coochie. Very nice. I love that bone apple tea stuff. No, no, no. Which, where is it coming from? Oh, it's just one leg. Let me out. Hit spiky trap. Hit spiky trap. Jeez, that took a lot out of me. Good thing I've got all these health packs. There they are. Use one. And then I'll make sure to drink some water and then I'll heal on my own a little bit. Yeah, which ones are you adding? Are you adding hoo so you don't have to do it every time? <laughs> oh no, oh god. Leave me alone. Will it ever just let go? God. Almost got me. Um, two. Put that back. Uh, two. Let's go up. And let's heal again.
warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. It's fine. We'll be fine. Leave that as a special redemption. Nice. That's more fun for sure. Want to uh, want the Batman first? Nice. Yeah, the only ones I can think of that I would want to add to like my stream would be um, uh, um, like the GG button. I think that would be fun. GG. Uh, Nine, thank you so much for the resub. How are you doing today, Nine? Taking it easy, I hope. You're good, just hanging. Nice, glad to hear. See, this, this is, we are getting closer. Oh, nope. Never mind. Hmm, alright, well, we can go back out and we'll find that other entrance that I thought we were going to. Because this... does not seem right. I've been on Subnautica for a while. Yeah, it's um, a little longer than I expected based on like the estimated hours for completion, but I'm not complaining. I really like the game. I mean, I, I kind of prefer when a game is a little longer. I, I like being able to really take my time with it. And I don't have anything lined up for what to play next, so... If you have suggestions, definitely toss them my way, because I will take game suggestions uh, pretty openly for stream. Um, people are talking about Gone Home. Um, oh, weird, I got some frames dropped there. Um, people were talking about Gone Home, and that interests me. I think I already own it, so that makes it really easy. Um, have I uh, not going to play Rain World? I don't know. I think if I do play it, I'll wait a little bit until I forget some of the um, some of the stuff that I've like watched on your stream. I'm I'm not opposed to it. It looks hard. <laughs> I won't lie. It looks challenging. But sometimes you need a good challenge. My only criteria for what I play after this game is that I don't want to play another heavy exploration, um, like, puzzle-y game. I, I want to play something a little bit maybe more narrative. Um, yeah, no plans after Subnautica yet. Still kind of thinking it over. Uh, would I be interested in Outer Worlds? I actually don't know anything about it. All I know is that it gets confused for Outer Wilds all the time. Um. It takes a while to get the controls down. The slug cat is kind of squishy. Ooh. That's, that's quite a description. Squishy. But I also know exactly what you mean by that so it works. Let's try going down this way. Although this kind of just looks like the edge of the map. Oh, it's this thing. So, I remember trying to find this again, and I got a little lost. So, we are directly south of home base. It's good to know. 
This thing is freaky, though. That's suspiciously close. Uh, da -da. It's made by the same... Uh, made by... Obs made by Obsidian. It's very similar to Fallout, but it has more story and more linear. It turns out the world is really interesting, though. It's uh, more about uncovering the secrets of the world than having a story. Rain world, yeah. Yeah, that's why I was, I was getting that impression from it, for sure. Uh, it's made by all the ex-staff that worked on Fallout New Vegas and is very similar to the Bethesda RPGs. Got it. Okay. It's also in space. <laughs> it's like what I wish Fallout 4 would have been. I haven't played any of the Fallout games, actually. Um, I, I played the first, like, hour or so of New Vegas, and I ran out of ammo, and I literally didn't know what to do. I couldn't, like, find any ammo, and I couldn't, like, kill anyone and get their ammo, and so I was just like, I guess that's it. Also, I think I just have to get out. Hey, Loof. Welcome in. I don't even use this for anything, but I take it anyways. I thought I had been here already. Maybe I was wrong. But I remember when I was streaming um, Outer Wilds, uh, I got raided by someone who thought I was playing Outer Worlds. And I was like, this is not the same game, but you gotta play it. You gotta check it out. And likewise, they, uh, they recommended Outer Worlds. They're very different experiences. Yeah. Yeah, that's the only thing, right? But I don't want the same experience as Outer Wilds. I need a break from that kind of game. Because, like, playing Outer Wilds and then immediately playing Subnautica, I am brain fried. <laughs> One Mark would love and the other he'd hate. Sounds about right. Dave, that um, that comment board that you put together came to came together really nicely. He'd probably hate both of them. Statistically, you're right, Allie. The Mark arc is sharp and sudden. I guess that's kind of the same thing. It's harsh. It's harsh and sudden. You watch the highlight of him reading and it was really cute. It was very, very cute. Fish. Fishies. Orc, thank you so much for the resub. Man, we're getting all the resubs today. The three month anniversary. I didn't even realize that that was today. <laughs> or recent, or a day or two ago. Whenever it happened. At one point I began streaming. And then I continued to stream. But I really appreciate you guys. So thank you. Orc, how was the rest of the game? That game was like, I was loosely playing att paying attention whenever I was watching because it looks like a game that I might play eventually. Um, but it, it was getting kind of weird there at the end. Oh, let's not beach ourselves. Definitely play it, all right. Throw it on my list. They were lurking a bit and then saw Orc fighting a rat tower. Yeah, that's pretty much what happened to me. I, like, put it on in the background while I was cleaning or eating or something, and then I look up and I'm like... And 
Yeah. Like, if you asked me to describe that game based on what I saw of it, I'd probably go, uh, uh. Not sure what I watched. It was really cool, though. I liked the art. Um, definitely gave me, um, uh, uh, what's it called? Hellblade vibes. Also, I'm going back to the base because it seems like we only get these phone calls uh, when we go back to the home base. So, I'm just beelining it. Those rat towers ate you a few times. You were lurking and it seemed really unique. Yeah, yeah. For a story-based game, it had a lot of interesting gameplay mechanics. That's cool. You'll love to hear that. Like stealth action and light, uh, lighting and fighting. Yeah. You describe it as Willard takes place in the 14th century. They were witches. <laughs> no witches, Welcome just bitches. Alright, got some ruby. Uh, I don't know if I have anywhere specifically for uranium. Yeah, it's just in here. I think I'm gonna take this out. And I'll put this in. So that I can... Oop, that won't fit. Well, they're going in here. There we go diamond, and we'll throw the nickel in there too. Lithium is... Oh, no, I got a thing for nickel already. I'm doing better about my organization this time. Need one of my water plants. Better. Based on what you saw, there were brown rat mini tornado bombs. Any game where you can control rats, 10 out of 10. Hugo turned into a rat boy? The rat king. <laughs> oh, it sounds like fun. Oh yeah, we got a poster. Will this fit anywhere in here? Aww, I wanted to stack them. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Or crushed it 10 out of 10 pro gamer. Hell yeah. Yes. I don't ever want to deal with rats in real life, though. I remember when I was in college, I was renting an apartment, um, and... In the back alley, there were, like, these big dumpsters where everyone would go and throw their trash. Um, and one time, I, like, went back there and I lifted up the door for it. And a rat, like, jumped out. Like, huge fucking rat. And I screamed. <laughs> and it was at, like, midnight. And I'm, like, it's, I'm surprised no one called the police. Um, all right, game. You told me that I need to go find the fabrication module thingy. But you didn't tell me where it is or give me any indication of where it might be. Like, if we check this voice log, I'm going to replay it. We have gathered the necessary components to begin constructing my body. Great. What's next? Let's get you out of my head. First, you must find the fabrication facility. It is concealed at some depths. Fabrication facility? So you planned on needing to make new bodies? It is a standard medical facility. A medical facility where you just replace your whole body when it wears out? Sounds a little beyond standard to me. Ours was a research mission of the highest importance. So, 
What were you, a scientist like me? Well, I don't know who this guy is. So, what happened? Your team found the vaccine and then... Please, Robin, you have the components. Find the facility and construct the body. Okay, but don't think I don't notice you changing the topic. Storbot's getting impatient. But, like, it doesn't tell me where it is. It just says go find it. So... Where have we not been? That's the question. Where that the aliens go, like in the alien bases. Where do aliens? In our head. All right, well, it's going. Let it charge up for a minute. A single rat that's smaller than a lumberjack's boot is cool. Anything else? No. Yeah, if they're big rat. Yeah, yeah. Rats will eat you. I had rats um, as a pet. Like, as uh, when I was in high school, I had two rats. Their names were Bagel and Squirrel. And they were... Uh, they were really cute. They were really nice. Squirrel was a menace. Squirrel was not a good pet. Um, Bagel was like a sweetheart. She was fat and like just just like felt like holding a donut. This rat, um, and and she was really sweet. She would just like hang out with you, sit on your shoulder, and just chill. You had a mouse and then it froze to death? Oh no. That's so sad. Yeah. Way too much. Way too much stuff. Man, how am I gonna find this? I'm actually, like, wondering what the game is asking me to do right now. I'm sorry about your mouse, Allie. I'm so sad. Game says take a leap of faith. Yeah, but like, where do we go? If we got all these components. Was this a teleporter that we hadn't activated yet? I don't remember. Because we got the teleporter on that side. Oh, do we have the blueprints for this thing now? No. Oh, but we do have the cold suit. Snow stalker fur? What? We're supposed to get fur? You know, before the other thing eats them. I don't... I don't know how, what I don't know what to say about that. Especially since we can bring the prawn suit over there. It's like, do we even really need it? Do I have to commit murder? I am gonna grab a. Uh, where is it? No, they're in here. They're in the rare stuff. Grab a couple of those, just in case. We're gonna go over to that teleporter and see what's there. Nope, 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 nope. Let me out. All 
All right, that worked. Oh, and I have a fabrication module, right? Okay, so because I definitely want to make more beacons. Because I've been slacking on that. I keep going to areas that I want beacons for. So I'm going to keep an eye out for lead because I'm pretty sure beacons use lead. Let's see. Tether tool. Teleport to a nearby sea truck teleportation module. What? Teleportation module? Oh, it's just copper and titanium. Do I have that? A teleportation module? I do. What the fuck? That sounds really useful. Maybe I'll make that on the way back. And then I'm gonna just grab a couple of copper and titanium while we're right here. So how is everybody's long weekend? For for those it applies to. This was my first time ever having Memorial Day off. Um and it was it was nice. I honestly I really needed the extra day. Um next week is going to be very busy at work, so I'm not super looking forward to that. But once that's all kind of wrapped up at work, I might take like a a week off or some kind of vacation. Just got to Got to get through the upcoming deadlines, you know. Yours was very good. Glad to hear it. Attack reduction module. Your deadlines are always the end of the month now. Yep. Not surprised. So it's like every week is just a little bit of a, um, a scramble. Or every month there's a scramble. That's kind of lame. At least you know it's coming, I guess. Is this the way in? I'm sorry! Oh my god, did you see its face? It's just like, ugh! Poor, poor penguin, I'm sorry. Yeah, I feel like a monster. Okay, so I put this at the entrance to the area. I remember this area very well.
And no water whatsoever. Can I go out on this side? Yeah, can. Always good to double check if there's anything to scan that I missed. Oh. Mm, that's not right. This looks better. Warm me. I love these little flowers. They seem like super goofy, but they're nice. And they're kind of cute. Uh, all right. Let's see where this goes. So I think the... Yeah, there was a... Is this just an end one? I can't place... Because I didn't have any ion cubes when I came here last time. Oh, well that stinks. Alright. We need the... We need to open it from the other way. I did not realize that this was one way. Alright. Back in the day, played a game with eggplants. Like fried eggs on a stalk. What do you mean? Elaborate, please. Alright, step one was attempted. Now what? It was a weird area, but instead of real-life eggplants, they looked like fried eggs growing out of the ground. Oh. Oh, I get, I get what you're saying. Weird. Yeah, fried eggs are my favorite. Allie, I agree. hungry now. <laughs> Sorry. We talk about food a lot here. Alright. So. That didn't quite work out for us, unfortunately. So we've got this map, and we've gone to both of those areas on land, for sure. Yeah, I'm also a little bit hungry. I've got like some chocolate here that I might nibble on in a little bit. We'll see. I don't know if we've been to this brown one here. But it seems like it's right in the middle of everything, so it shouldn't be, like, hard to find. Unless it's just that... Like that, uh... So we're over here right now. This is Delta. Oh. Actually... Well... It's weird because I recognize the symbols, but they're 
not individual enough for them to stand out to me too, too much. Like, there was one that's next to the Delta docking station, and I don't know which one that is. So, we've got the Delta docking station there, and the, the, uh, the bridge area over there. So, what's the distance on these? So this one's much further. And I think that's this one. So yeah, we're right here. So we want to go... Sa or, uh, yeah, south, west, a little bit. I want to go this way. We've been to this many times, and I don't think it's that. Like, that just wouldn't really seem right. I guess it could be. I'll check if there's any symbols up here. The little penguins. Yeah. I'll we'll go this way a little bit further. Because also there's that one that's like deeper, deeper depth. I I guess that it could be all of the pieces of human built uh, platforms that have like sunk to the bottom. Yeah, because then we're just back there. So I guess... I guess that's it. Alright, so my thinking is that this is the one that is... Um, well, no, because this is the, the Delta. I need a better map, you guys. Hmm. We could try going to that other one. Oh, it's hailing again. So, we just want to go south right now. But that seems wrong. You know what? I want to check something. Because this is this, right? I wish I could just like parkour my way up there. I don't think I can. I guess the, the path was pretty direct. I don't need to complain. I just want to see... if there's a symbol up here.
You'd think I would have been taking note of those kinds of things as I was playing, but no. I'm not super observant when I play games. Delta. Gimme. Come here. No, I wanna scan you. We never really found that lady again, either. I wonder what her deal is. She showed up a couple times and then pieced. So there really isn't one. There isn't a, uh... Because I'm suddenly realizing that this might be an island. I always thought that this was part of, like... I thought it was part of this. So this might be the island one. Let's go back down before we freeze. How did I get here? Oh, triangle. Hell yeah. Triangle. Okay, so this is an island. Okay, so then let's go here. Because I don't know if I've actually been there. Unless that's where we landed, but I bet there's a lot of stuff there now that I missed before. In fact, I feel pretty confident of that. So let's go back to the base... We'll switch to the prawn suit so that I can explore on land without uh, any hesitation. And I think that gives us a good, good spot to work off of. Yeah, and that makes a lot more sense now that I'm really thinking about it. Oh, whoops. That's fine. Doesn't matter. driving. We drive. Alright, we're gonna go back to the volcano place. I really hope that we can scale that mountain because seeing it on the horizon is just so tempting. Oh no, I didn't leave my prawn suit to charge. I think it was full though. I think we'll be fine. I'm gonna take it, so I'll plug plug this in. Welcome aboard. And then you know what I'll do is I'll grab the um the empty power cells out of this guy and swap them out with the ones in the sea truck. Oh, that one's a hundred. Yeah, I think it's in storage. Yeah. Might as well drop this stuff off too. Titanium. Oh, actually, I do want at least one of these to make another beacon. That's easy to come by. We don't have to stress about having it or not. There we go. 
We'll grab a bite to eat, and then we'll be off again. Okay, just literally a bite. We can grab a, uh, lantern fruit. Seems like I'm carrying too much stuff, but most of it we can drop if we don't end up needing it. Cool, cool. Welcome aboard, Captain. Yes. Okay. So per our map, we want to go directly north. Probably a little northwest based on that other. Does anyone have plans for the evening? play some board games, but I just kind of realized I wasn't really feeling up for it. Which is unfortunate when it happens, but you know. I can't see the mountain, but I hope that this is the right way. where we crash landed. Huh. It wouldn't let me go up there. What do you mean this isn't Skyrim and I can't just traverse anything? Let me up! Believe you. There was a spot on the map for this. And it can't have just been the, uh. Let me. Come on. Let me through. <sighs> and here we go again. Alright. Try from up here. We just gotta go through. We just gotta get through, you guys. No. Oh, phew. All right. Okay. Is this the same way? Yep. I don't believe that there's nothing else to do on this island. I don't believe it. Maybe there's just another way up? Maybe I have to go around a little bit? Let's see. If I was gonna be an entrance and I went in Here, right? promising. Ah, oh, alright, alright. 
Yeah, this looks cooler. Whoa! Uh... Do you guys see this? I- yeah, we definitely found a glitch! Holy cow! Oh my god, it- We found the thing. I think the reason why we had trouble finding it before was because it was- Uh... I think I'm stuck. Can I get through here? I keep getting stuck on the environment. Like, I totally bugged out. Uh. I, I literally can't move. Like, if I go through here, and I go over here, I can't go forward anymore. I'm stuck on the edge. I'm, I, like, clipped out of the map, I think. And this is like the edge of the map. Uh, wait, what was that? F8 to report a bug? Let's do it together. <laughs> Feedback here. Uh, clipped. Whoops. Don't need to. We did it. We're not that mad. We don't have to. We don't have to, uh, uh, be all caps lock. I want a refund. <laughs> yeah, yep. Orc, I'll uh, just I'll, I'll go refund your all your subs. Uh, clipped. Edge of the map. Invisible wall. A uh, bug. Um. I'm, like, gonna have to reload. I'm gonna have to die. So, like... Wait, shit, how much progress do you think we're gonna lose? I asked for a McFlurry. Uh, I don't- I don't want to be sad, but I'm- I'm not, like, super happy. We did it. We sent a bug. Can I get out and, like, move forward? Nope. Oh, no. Oh, God. I haven't saved yet this stream. I didn't plan for unexpected failure. Um, does anyone want to Google for me real fast if, uh, if there is a command for moving through invisible walls that I can just type in and then we can continue without having to reload the whole game and lose a bunch of progress. Because I would love to not do that. I'll, I'll give it a quick Google right now. Stuck on land or clipped into it. Yeah, you you can uh, enable um, uh, console commands. F3 to open the tab. Alright. Um. And then. Press F8 to enable your mouse. Is 
says we can we have to enable uh, disable console unclick step two retrieving and freeing your vehicle you found the perfect saucy sunday game to play next aer memories of old what's aer remind me all right retrieving and freeing your vehicle once your console command has been enabled, the next few steps depend on the nature of your situation. Scenario one, if your vehicle is breached on a landmass somewhere, then the first thing to do is enter said vehicle and open up console command by pressing enter. What? I'm not sure how to do this. This is a little more. I thought it was just you would type in like slash walls off or something and then you can just like move freely and then you can turn it back on and this seems a little bit more. Um, more than that, and I don't see anywhere to just type. Maybe I have to close this. Open up the console command by pressing enter. I'm sorry this is boring, you guys, but I'm trying to save us about 30 minutes of redoing shit. Um, oh, there's the console command. I just wasn't seeing it. Alright. Uh, warp forward 30. Well, that just didn't work. Mm -hmm. Let's try it again. Enter said vehicle name. Enter the vehicle. It's just not working. We're just like super stuck. We're just like, we can't do anything. Scenario two. You're experiencing an issue where your vehicle has become one with the wall and it is simply a matter of taking an extra step. Yes, okay. And then it says to do the same thing for the other scenario. Y'all. Dig is also a command. But is that, that sounds like going down, doesn't it? Transform into a bird and fly to explore and experience a vibrant world of floating islands in the sky. Venture down into lost agent ruins where each step leads you closer to the end of the world. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Hell yeah. That sounds really, really cool. Did you play uh, a short hike, Orc? Because you'd probably like that too. I think I think you played it. You've not? Okay. Nine, is that just for going forward? Oh, I see that you mentioned warp forward as well. I had a different tab up so I couldn't read chat there. Dig makes you go up. Yeah, that doesn't really help me either. I wonder if we can just go back the way we came. Because it all went wrong when I went through this... mountain. We are now just, like, fully stuck here. All right. You hate to see it. I think we're going to have to go back to that, um, 
the alien base too. I'm not, like, having the most stupendous luck lately. I didn't realize that that would extend two games. You know what? To cope with this, I'm going to eat a piece of chocolate. Um, for those of you who are new to chat today, or um, have been in chat too, too long, I've got points now that you can gamble with. Um, so exclamation, exclamation point points. Um, you can roulette them. Um, have at it. I'm sure if you've accumulated by now. It took a little bit of troubleshooting to get it. There you go, nine. All right. This is exactly what I was afraid of. Um, uh, yeah. This, uh, I'm gonna need more chocolate. I'm gonna need to go to the store and come back and ha to have enough chocolate to deal with this. Um, Everything's fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Everything's fucking fine. <laughs> this is where we started the stream, by the way. If you if um if you've come in since then, this is where we fucking started. Um, and the the reason why I did this instead of oh god, so many regrets. Uh, the, so there was a reason why I didn't just go out and freeze to death to like respawn. And that's because I would have had to have rebuilt my prawn suit for the third time. And I was just not feeling that. And now it's nighttime, and now I need to find the stupid teleporter thing again. Leave me alone. Not in the mood, Mr. Worm thing. was one of the areas that I came in. Let's find the ladder. You lost all your points multiple times during Allie's stream. Yeah, that's a bummer. So, I remember it wasn't very far, the teleporter. This doesn't seem right, though. I would just love if it was daytime. I just want it to be daytime so that I can find the thing. This is not it. This is the wrong one. Hey, there you go. Yeah, I think the, the points work much better like to gamble them when you uh, have multiple people in chat using them. Um, because otherwise then you, you don't have someone else kind of like impacting the luck. Alright. I think this is it. Oh, wait. This wasn't even- this was just an exit, wasn't it? So we don't even have to really do this. I mean, I guess we- no, I don't care enough. It's fine. I don't- I don't give a shit. Um, it wasn't even a discovery. It was just the- another exit. But I don't need that for my prawn suit anyways. 
We're just gonna leave. We're gonna leave it all behind. Although now I'm starting to wonder if it'll be faster to get out of here than just like trying to <laughs> not get lost. God, you guys, what else did we do? We did some wandering around. We went here and we scanned that so it gave and that gave us a new dialogue. Fairly sure. But we can do that really quick. I remember how to get to that, and it was actually very easy. Oh, whoopsie daisies. I guess that is where we want to go, though. If it was closer, I would just go straight there. But I don't want to have to deal with getting the prawn suit back up because that was a really deep location. It's way easier to take the sea trunk. You just went back to watch Mark's VOD from yesterday. Yeah, that was nuts! That raid that he got, oh my god. Yeah, and then we had the uh, the little reunion, all the best clips, all the favorite clips. It was very cute. It was very, very sweet. Yeah, it's gonna be really weird not having Mark stream um, during my during my routine. If anyone else has any favorite streams that that uh, stream between 11 a.m. and 4 p.m. Eastern time, please let me know. Post their link in the Discord. Yeah, Nine, I hang out in, in Nine's stream usually uh, before migrating over to to Mark's. Welcome aboard, Captain. We have gathered the necessary yep. components to begin constructing my body. Great. What's next? Let's get you out of my head. First, you must find the fabrication facility. It is concealed at some depth. Fabrication facility? So you planned on needing to make new bodies? It is a standard medical facility. A medical facility where you just replace your whole body when it wears out? Sounds a little beyond standard to me. Ours was a research mission of the highest importance. So, what were you, a scientist like me? I am a scientist now. So, what happened? Your team found the vaccine and then... Please, Robin, you have the components. Find the facility and construct the body. Okay, but don't think I don't notice you changing the topic. Uh, Luf, you're gonna be on summer vacation a month from today? That's very exciting. And yeah, Nine, what are you playing next? Because you were playing Rain World for a while. I know you play, uh, Smash. You guys, I'm like so disheartened that we lost that much progress. I'm gonna save more often. Hey Pyro, welcome in. How are you doing today? Not done with Rain World yet. Oh, okay, I thought you finished it. Might get Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. 
That's cool. The online for that game is so good. I have, I, I played a little bit of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. That's the only one that I have played. Um, and I, I got like halfway through it and then I got kind of sidetracked and, and just like never went back to it. I probably should. Uh, okay. I don't think I need a power cell. I think we're just good to, to go. Pyro, how is your day going? Assassin's Creed is like that. I just got home and unpacked from Eerie's. Had a pretty good, mostly relaxing day. Nice. Glad to hear it. going around this island, and then we're gonna go down. I am tired today. I slept very poorly last night, which doesn't happen to me all that often. I just had, like, weird dreams. a sleepy day. Yeah, the weather doesn't help. It's just been, like, kind of gloomy and rainy all weekend. I'm coming for you, Artifact. And then, you know what? We'll just go straight back. At, at least we're not wandering as much this time. We have very set goals. We're just being more efficient. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if things in this game are inaccessible until you uh, are told to go there. Because I remember exploring this whole cavern and stuff, but then I just, like, didn't find this. Oh, you know what? I think it's because- I think I know why. I think it's because this is the wrong one. I think there's another one a little further up. So I remember it was like dead above it. Ah, yes, there was a second one. I thought that 300 was a little bit far. Let's scan the stuff, we'll grab the stuff, and then we're out of here. Great. Ah, stretch. It does feel good to be moving much more efficiently, I'll say that.
Okay. And back home. Where is home? Bridge, prawn suit. There it is. Down there. All about efficiency, baby. Yeah. The nearby spires are substantial thermal vent structures, hospitable to coral formation. That's new. I don't think we got that dialogue before. But we're just getting out of here. Oh, but what else is going on? Not sure. We've got a new question of the day. I don't even remember what I set it to. I have, like, a spreadsheet. Let me go! Let me go! Ah, yes. That if you could, would you switch careers? Assuming no obstacle, and, like, you, you just... Snap your fingers and could. You just did! Hell yeah. Yeah, you mentioned that. I didn't realize it was like a whole career change, though. So that's really cool. Yeah, I was like... There was a conversation in another stream, and it was a while ago, but it kind of stayed with me, where I... I don't really make art anymore, and I went to school for art. And so it was like, if I could go back and do it all over again, I would have studied something else so that I could have set myself up a little bit better for um, a growing career. And I'm, I'm like, in a, in, a, in a place that I'm really happy with right now, it's just, um, uh, it, would have, it would have been cool to have had gone to college for the skill sets that I use today. Same company, but a completely different thing. Gotcha. Yeah, that's a good feeling. I pretty much only did CS, customer support, for the last couple of years, working retail and um, doing emails and that kind of thing. And then recently I got uh, a more interesting position, I, I should say. More managerial. That's what you did, yeah. Welcome aboard, Captain. I wonder what it would be like, um, often to like only switch to a whole new like saving, um, like something completely different. Oh, I was E. I want to charge this. Like, I feel like in another life, I was a pastry chef. Or even just, like, a, a, a chef in general. I think I did stuff with food. Uh, I love baking and making fun pastries and stuff. So. Checking the map again. You want to be a librarian, but you have to have a degree for that. That seems kind of crazy to me. I don't feel like as a librarian you should need to have a degree. I do librarians do. I'm sure they do more than I than I than I know of. Um, but it seems odd to me that you need a degree. Like I totally, I totally believe you. I don't- I don't mean otherwise, it just seems odd. <laughs> I 
Is it because it's like a state funded thing? Hmm. It was wild. You were browsing city jobs and saw an opening. But yeah, a degree in library science. My god. That's crazy to me. All right. So this is where we started. And you know what? I'm just going to save right here. This is the perfect spot to save. All right. We haven't gotten stuck anywhere. We're on the land. Okay. So this is where we crash landed. And we did not figure out a way to get anywhere else from here. We can't get up there. And this way was hard to get through, so we'll go back. I don't think I missed anything, any other paths that way. What we did is we just went to the right until we found something that we could jump on. Oh, I love how much more light there is underwater. You can actually see stuff. And we just like climbed up on this, right? I guess not that one specifically. We must have just gotten lucky with which one we went up on before. I like I don't want to take the same path because I don't want to uh, get stuck again. Is there any kind of like entrance looking thing here? This kind of looks like a path maybe. This looks like a path. But this this is like where it collapsed maybe? And so it got snowed in, so maybe if we go east, it's kind of the direction we were going. I just need some light. I can't see anything. Let's try this. Oh, we did it. We found the normal way in, I think. Unless we've been to this one already. Nope, we've been to this one already. God damn it. Was this the one that we were walking on top of, too? Was this where we were trying to get all along? It was. Alright, so there isn't another base. It's just this one. What's this way? I don't know if this is an intended path, but... Seems like it's not. Like, there's definitely a ceiling. 
Oh, maybe not. All right. Nope. Well, that's disappointing. I feel like this whole stream, like every everything that we've done so far has been pretty disappointing. Just trying to figure it out. All right, well. The poor penguin, frozen. No, we've already been back to Gondor with the laser cutter. I remember that. I was like, maybe we could go there. But nope, nope, definitely done that already. What's funny is that I can't really use my prawn suit to even go deeper. Oh, we just missed this. Delivery status uh, report. These sea monkeys are gonna get me in trouble. This is the third shipment that those buggers have gotten their weird little hands into. Now we're running low on flares and I'm gonna have to search nearby nests for stolen cargo. They're lucky they're kinda cute. Raccoons of the sea, those ones. Clearly just something we were supposed to have found a long time ago. And just didn't see it. Hey! Rude. What is this? Pathfinder tool. Huh, we never even had that. Well, for what we can do, what can we do? What can we do that won't be super repetitive? We can go back to that area with the Leviathan and see if there's anything down there that we missed. Um, We can go further behind the Delta Island because I think there are some spots over there that we've just never been to. It is really nice being able to just have a bunch of plants that we can eat. Let's drop some of this stuff off. And then we'll put these guys in there. I don't think we need those. We got the food we'll keep. Health packs we'll keep. And my thinking is the next place we go should just be... Health 63%. Repair, repair.
So if we go this way, I know that there's a entrance to go to one of the ladies' hideouts. From there, we can explore a little bit more. Um, but I, it's, it's a little bit tough because I just don't know what we're looking for. I don't know if we should go back down to the crystal caves um, or what. I guess we just have to experiment a little bit. That's Subnautica. Or we can go to the other side of the Delta Island like I was talking about earlier. Around those, um... Yeah, let's go this way. We'll go back around the other edge of the, the thing. We can come back here. Because the, the cave is, like, super close to here. And I feel like each stream of this game that I do is opposite the following. So if I make a lot of progress in one stream, the next stream, I have no progress. And then the stream after that, I'll make a lot of progress. It's like back and forth pretty constantly. You would have the hardest time with this with no map. I, yeah, I like, when I played the first game, um, I pulled up a no spoilers map just for exploring around because that game has more reward I think for just aimless exploring. In this game it's kind of like you just have to do it sometimes but you don't have any kind of guidance whereas in the first game if you go in pretty much any direction you will find something new. I don't know if this game is unlike that but I feel like I don't get as much reward because there's just less stuff in general. I also think the map of the first game was much larger. This one seems a lot smaller in comparison. Leave me alone. Don't worry about me. Nope, 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 nope. Let me out. I don't know if this goes anywhere. It doesn't look like it. It looks like it just ends. But it might be safe for a moment for me to uh, heal. My ship. Yep, this just ends. We can go back up. We are looking for any kind of like caverny looking stuff. Because this might be the only area that I haven't really explored. Because I've never really been brought over here before. And I get so nervous about just, like, finding the edge of the map because it's kind of just like an insta-death. What's that? Is that texture? Damn it! Oh, you know, I think I have been over here before. 
Because I remember the jellies and I remember them ending. Seeing Marco live at night is wild. Yeah, I just saw the announcement. I was like, huh. Maybe I'll raid him for once. Well, this this seems like a bit of a wash, unfortunately. Is it really? That's a little messed up. Yeah, it's like if you just keep going off the edge of the map, you'll just get eaten by those, uh, those annoying guys that keep grabbing us. They just, like, more of them spawn and just eat you. Because we tried it once. We tried just, like, going down as deep as we could. And when we got to, like, a thousand meters, we just got eaten. Yeah. And, like, the game gave us a bit of a warning. They're, like, approaching an inactive, uh, inactive zone. Surprisingly little amount of fauna here. To keep going is certain death. Something like that. And I was like, okay. Thanks, game. But it's, it's like the game could also say that exact thing. And I would think, oh, yeah, I guess, uh, there's something down here I have to get to and it's very dangerous. Hey, Mongoose. How you doing? I think I'm just... And we've been through this whole thing before. Man. Pretty good has a stream. You know, let me tell you. I, uh... I, I did one task in the game. I explored a little bit. And then I decided to explore this other area. Um, and then the game glitched. And we were clipped through the wall, and we couldn't move, so I had to reload the entire hour and a half that I had already been streaming. Um, and then I went and redid all the things, loaded the game back up, and went back to that place that I was trying to get to. Turns out I had already been there, so I didn't even need to go there. Um, and now the game has just given me this one kind of, like, aimless task of find the fabricator. And, uh, I'm just not finding it. I'm not sure where to look. It's, like, the only hint that we've gotten is this voice log. This one here. And it's, like, just find the facility. But I, but I don't know where else it could be. Let's see. We need to find the alien fabricator. Find the facility. Thanks, game. I know. Like, that's the kind of thing that frustrates me in a game. Um, is this... You know, I, Mark's talked about it a lot. The being lost without direction. And I really like that phrase for it because... I've noticed that in games, like in, in a game that's saying you need to find these things, but it's giving you clues, that feels good because then you, you have somewhere to start. You like have maybe even like a location that you can go to and then explore from there. Here, it's like, good luck. Just go find it. <laughs> I think I'm also just definitely like in a bit of a salty mood today just from life. So it's not helping. <laughs> but that's how it goes sometimes. I don't think I really want to do any more aimless wandering right now, though, which stinks because I want to keep playing, but I don't want to just hold W for an hour and a half and not find anything. So... Yeah. That's where I'm at a little bit. A little disappointing. I wanted to wanted to explore a bit more. At least it's pretty out. I wonder what that is. Is that just like a uh... Oh, it's one of those cables. Yeah, that's just sitting on top of the ice.
but yeah okay i think i'm gonna call it here for today um which is uh well you know is what it is i think i don't i don't want to i don't want to wander a lot but we can raid somebody and uh i'll be back to this in um I don't know, a day or two. I tend to not stream on the first day of the work week because I am tired. Um, but let's pull this up. We're definitely going to raid Mark. And, uh, and thank you guys so much for hanging out, especially with my, with my bad attitude today. Just, just one of those days. And I think we, we've all been there. Two hour streams are good. Yeah, like, sometimes it's, it's nice to just have, like, a, a concise stream. Like, I like going for multiple hours, but at, at a point you just kind of start, stop talking and just start rambling. Um, but Orc, thank you again for that resub. Nine, thank you for the resub. And Allie. Oh my gosh. Um, and then also Lendor, if you're still here, thank you for that raid earlier. I will see you guys around. Have a great rest of your day and I'll catch you at the next one.